All right, then let's start. Zelda 25th anniversary. What a sad way to celebrate an anniversary by releasing Skyward Sword. <laughs> Should I, should I skip the cutscenes? Yeah. I'm not gonna watch all the cutscenes. Sorry, chat. Clear the checker, oh yeah. Throw it up. That's such a mood, though. That's such a mood. Talk. So, is before we continue, is this randomizer made in such a way where it's, like, open world? Or, like, is it... Like the vanilla game. Wait! Oh! Wait, is that good? You learned the Fire Dragon song? This is part of the song of the year. Is that good? Is that good? I think that's good, right? I think that's good. Uh, is that Din's power? Is that what I'm supposed to click off? Is that Din's power? No? Uh... I don't know where in a tracker I'm supposed to click it. It's a Triforce song. I guess that one then? No. Above the harp? Oh. Okay. Alright, we got five rupees. Thank you! This will be fun. Oh, trust me, I'm very knowledgeable about Skyward Sword. This is gonna be easy. There should be a- there should be a chest in one of these back rooms. I remember finding one. Isn't there one in a toilet or something here? Let me look at my tracker. Inside the statue chest, I have two, and then chest near statue, there's one. So there's three chests I can get right now. Dude, I love Scoured Sword. It's such a good game. It's my favorite game of all time. Oh, 
All right, here we go. Pause, champ. Let's go, sword. Wait. Wait. I think that's good. Wait. Wait. But which boss key thing is this? It doesn't say which piece for which dungeon it is. I don't know which dungeon this is for. You got the first piece of the key. For which one of the keys? It's Earth Temple? Okay, I knew that. Is that even on the tracker? I can't even see anything for that on the tracker. It's so small. It's the second one. The third icon, okay. And then there's apparently two chests in here. One. Oh my god, it's the Gratitude Crystals. Dude, that looks exactly like Super Mario Galaxy. That literally looks exactly like if it came from Galaxy. I swear to god, this is just Galaxy. There's supposed to be another chest I can get in here. It says there's two inside the statue chest. Second chest mod check. You might need the sword to get that one. That makes sense. This version doesn't include the sword. Swordless option. You can change, you should change your HUD to Pro so the, the controller doesn't take up half of your screen, Linkus. I need it. I need the HUD. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need the HUD. I am, I beat in this game once. I see a green check over there in the overworld. Hold on. There is lumpy pumpkin crystals. As you can see, by the way, Chad, I'm a very big pro with this. Look. Is it in this? That's not it. Lumpy pumpkin crystals outside and inside. It's got to be here, then. Central Skyloft Paras Crystal has emerald tablets. 
don't know what that means. Fire Sanctuary, Heart Containers, Tumbleweed. Okay. Oh, there we go. Wait, what? I don't have a sword. <laughs> oh my god, that's an item. Do I need the... No, I shouldn't need to have the beetle here. Easy clap. Why would you do that? Get down and get her this instant. Because I'm a Giga Chad? An amber tablet. That's not bad. I actually need that. Bam. I know what that is. Is it just me or are the rupees extremely big in this game? It's like half the size of Link. I very much no understand how my girlfriend feels now in their in this relationship because having the illusion of choice sucks. Hey, what do you want for dinner? Oh, do you want to go to Chipotle? Not really feeling Chipotle, but you decide. Oh, how about Domino's? Oh, not really feeling Domino's, but you decide. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like on top of the house, maybe? The other chest? Because there's a chest I'm supposed to be able to get here. Because there is another... No, it says that two of them are... It says... No, because there's two goddesses statue that are locked out that I can't get yet. But there's two locations here I can get. One is inside and one is outside. According to the tracker, at least. This one is night only. How do I make it night? You can try and sleep on the bed. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry. Yay! Yay! Bow! Yay! Yay! Bow! That is the most uncomfortable way to go to bed I have ever seen because it literally just looks like a wooden bed and he jumped at like there was no tomorrow. I have 100% of this game. Um, are you okay? Do you need like a hug or something? Damn it, it's actually vanilla. I don't want my gr I don't want gratitude crystals. I'm not trying to play Super Mario Galaxy. I'm 
Okay. I think that's all the locations I can get because I don't know. Uh, I think this is all the locations I can get. I think we're I think we're soft locked. I don't see any green locations on the map now, other than the other chests out of the goddess statue. I think we're soft locked. Yeah. Wake up, bird! Oh, orange means that there are some locations I can get and some that I can't. So I can go to the orange location. the tablet so you can go to Lanru. Let's go to sleep again, Chad. Yeet. You know, it's kind of, like, I want to make something very clear. And I'm going to actually, like, down-talk myself here, which is a rare moment. But, you know, a lot of people look at, like, when we speedrun video games, and they're like, I could never do that. If you watch what's happening on the stream right now, if this gameplay can reach the level of speedrun tier in Wind Waker, so can you. Trust me. It's just practice, okay? You see what's going on right here. If I can do it, so can you, man. You got this. Just need 10,000 hours in Wind Waker? Not 10,000, only like 2,000. <laughs> if I get a sword from this house, I'm gonna be so happy because it's the academy, which is where you usually get your sword. Let's just get the sword. I hate these gratitude crystals. I hate these gratitude crystals. They're so bad. I don't think I can do anything with this guy. I want a sword. It also says that I can get something. I don't know if I need a sword for this, but the locations I see that I can get right now is Link's Room Single, Academy Plant Single. Why is there so many singles? I don't know what single means. And you usually get a gratitude crystal for that. What's Link's Room single? Well, let's try and go to... No, I checked my closet, and in my closet there was just rupees. Oh, really? Let's make it night. Let's have a little nap again. Give me a second. Damn vanilla. Okay, we got Link's room, and then there's the Academy Plant single. I 
it's so quiet. I hope I don't wake anyone up by accident. Okay. No! I just went past one. What? No, I didn't. What do you mean right there? There's nothing here. Go back. Oh my god. Is this the academy plant? That's probably the academy plant, isn't it? Are these not randomized? Whoa, what the hell? I'm killing you in the morning. I made it so I only need 30 of them, thankfully, in total. So I'm just gonna... I'm just not gonna get any more for now. I'm trying to get them later. Let me go back today. Oh, wait. Is there multiple rewards and not just up to... Like, is there more before 30? How do I get to him? I'm confused. Is he in Skyloft? He's at Skyloft. Dude, this is the weirdest DLC I've ever seen. I have to push a gravestone. All right. You need a sword, Linkus? Are you shitting me right now? Roll into the first one you pushed. Sheesh! I figured it out all on my own! You've gathered quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent. Please take this as a token of the this demon's deepest appreciation. You learned the spiral charge. Um. What the hell is that? I 
I don't even see it on the tracker. It's a sword technique. All right. I'm still learning to need to get more. Please, won't you aid a poor unfortunate demon in need? Oh, gracious me. This is a... Oh, he more? Oh, we learned another song. That's nice. Two. Thirty of them. All right. Oh, that's the green paper. Nice. I was hoping for a sword, though. I'm gonna be honest. Did you click on the statue on the tracker? That one? Alright. I'm gonna be honest, I'm having a really hard time to see this tracker. This is a little bit of a rough tracker. Yeah, the shops are also randomized. God, I hate cats. They're terrifying. What do you mean capitalize the colon? Look at this. This is what you want at home at night? This is what you want at home? This is what you want? Chat, you're not going to like what I'm going to do to that cat in the morning. Noki, on the other hand, now that's a good cat. Love Noki. Let's enter real shop. Always to shoot a slingshot on the little thing. Oh, wait. Is only beetle shop randomized? Or are these not randomized? This looks awfully vanilla to me. I just walked past the check. No, I didn't. Can't open it, Chad. Talk to the woman. Oh, 
Oh, this woman? This woman? Yo, we got a water... Wait, that's actually kind of nice, isn't it? That's actually necessary. That's a good item. I know that item. Let's go! Ooh. It says that I can get... A, a pouch from Fledge and a shield from Olin. Are those locked behind a sword or can I get them? Because the tracker cannot know if I have a sword or not. I don't know what a no means to that question. Oh, the Fle oh, Fledge was the first check. Okay, what about Olin? Can I get Olin without a sword? Let's see. Are you Olin? Yay. Okay, there's only one thing that I'm missing here now that I can get, which is the shed chest and central skyloft. So I need to find a shed somewhere. I think that's the underwater one. This is the cat that attacked me at night. Do you ask if it was a monkey, Maisie? Alright, I won't do it, Chad. Saved. <laughs> All right. Let's go! Prage! 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 Yo! That's nice! That's the part uh, of the song of the hero! Come here, buddy. Hey, 
Hey, look at this guy. Hang out with him. There you go, buddy. Uh, why can't I not put the thing in? Oh, I think I need to skywards. Is there a chest at the top of the statue? Or is that just in the cutscene you get an item up there? Let's go to the yellow beam of light, shall we, Chad? Because I don't think I can get any more locations in Skyloft. I'm looking around and I don't think I can get any more. It did, I don't know what the blue text means. There's a blue text for pumpkin archery, but I don't think I can do that. I don't know what blue means, but blue is like not the normal white one. I think I should try to enter the cave. I don't see anything I can get there. I also need a sword for that anyways. I hate the fact that... Wait, there is something I can get. In Southern Plaza, there is a... There is a Paro... Paro bottle. What is a Paro bottle? There's a yellow pillar, Linkus. No. It's the guy in the plaza? This dude? Are you Paro? Calm down. My sister should be curious about the colorful island that appeared recently, so... So I suspect she's somewhere in the southern west sky. You can't fly during night. I'm not falling for that, Chad. Do you guys know where I need to f go? Do you guys know what the island is that I have to go to? It's a colorful one southwest. Yeah. Alright. Link us down.
I'm assuming it's this thing. Wait, was that her? Shit. I'm coming for you! I'm so glad you're here. My bird got injured? No. I saw him manage to make a crash landing here, but now we can't get home. My bird's better. I need medicine to get him healthy. Of course, it can't be human medicine. It has to be bird medicine. Of course, I'll help. All right, I'll go back to the brother. It seems like it's back. I think it's just like that it's dropping frames occasionally. There are mushroom spores. They will heal the bird's injury. Yo! Oh! Wait! No! No! Absolutely beautiful singing mate Link Asaya. There's I'm assuming I can't get the gossip stone things without uh without sword, right? Well the gossip stone oh the gossip stones don't have don't have items, they're just hints. Oh. Chad, I have some bad news. I'm looking around the tracker, and the tracker, it makes it very clear. I have not a single location left in the overall that I can get right now with my current items, other than gratitude crystals, which I am not getting. So it's time to go somewhere else. Thank you, Miss Becky, for the gifty. Yeah. Dude, I'll be pissed if 30 gratitude crystals is important. Did you guys see how fast that was? I was like, yeah, baby, let's freaking do this. I wait, I wait, I wait. Right as the tried to fire the back boost speed, bam, the body. The, bam, the, 
the double body armor, two quick ones. Uh, this is called Lanayru Mining Facility, right? Or is this Lanayru? Or is this the mine's entrance? Or is this the desert? Or is this sandship? Or which one is it? Shit. Mine entrance. Oh my god, there is one singular chest here I can get. Yes! It's called First Time Shift Chest. No, do I need a... No, I need a sword for that. No. Please don't tell me I need a sword to hit that. Maybe there's like a bomb around I can pick up or something and just like throw it. Let's see. You never know. Okay, I think I can make that crystal. Hold on, let me just kill this enemy first. Oh, that's gotta be possible. I can't put the bomb bag. I don't have a bomb bag. Chat, do you think this is possible? So close. Well, the issue is my tracker's logic expects me to have a sword. The web tracker doesn't, to my understanding, have a map tracker, which I need, because I'm bad at this game. I'm also not using the standard email tracker package. I'm using a custom-made one that Gymnast used that he said he updated manually. No, that's slower. Oh, let's just come back here another time. I'm starting to be scared and think that it might be the 30... It might be 30 crystals that I need. Because I, I think if I'm reading this tracker correctly, it's the only location I have left. I tried rolling into it, you can't. There's a chest up there. You think I can zombie hover up there? Yeah, I have glitchless logic on. All right, let's get out of here. All right. Dude, I think I'm soft locked. I swear to God, I'm soft locked. Yeah. 
The only thing I'm missing is the pearl, so I can get 30 gratitude. But there's no way the game is that evil. Let's get the 30 gratitude crystals. Can I say something that might be a hot take? I think that the ocean in Wind Waker is a better overworld than flying in Skyward Sword. It just feels like a more nice overworld. Thank you. I think playing this swordless was a good idea. I really don't these bits. Let's go back to Skyloft. There's some crystals I can get there during night. By the way, chat. On, I'm gonna say something. Because I'm playing this... What is happening with my motion controls? Because I'm playing this upscale 1080p on Dolphin, would you agree when I say that other than the HUD, this game literally looks exactly the same graphics-wise compared to the HD version? Like, Skyward Sword HD's gotta be the laziest HD port I've seen. Actually, that's not true. I think Sky I think Twilight Princess is actually more lazy, but... Uh, Twilight Princess is HD, but... It's, it's up there with, like, basically an upscaled port. I will say, though, I love Dolphin. This looks amazing for being an old Wii game. I should play more Wii games on Dolphin, because this looks awesome. Lock the door. The reason why there is more work put into Wind Waker than the other ports, I think two things. One, and this is actually going to be shocking coming from my mouth, but I want to be an unbiased take. Wind Waker had more things that was necessary to improve than some of the other Zeldas. I hate to say it, but it's true. It had, it definitely benefited the like some of the most from changes. And number two, but more importantly, if you actually look into it, 
Uh, Wind, uh, Wind Waker HD was developed by the main Zelda team. Just place his imaginary sword and shield next to the bed. Uh, yes, he is. Uh, yeah, so Wind Waker HD was developed by the actual Zelda team themselves to prepare them for getting familiar with HD graphics before they started work on Breath of the Wild, while all the other remakes are being basically developed by other devs. So that's also why more, like, small changes were made to specifically Wind Waker than the other ones, because you actually got the proper Zelda team care instead of another developer. That's why, like, small things, like, e something basic, like, how they, like, made effort showing, like, hey, you can walk around and aim at the same time in Wind Waker, and things, and small things like that, like, sped up animations and things like that were not implemented in TPHD, just because that's a side dev while it was the Zelda team that made a Wind Waker HD. Uh, that must be Light Tower single, I guess. Where's Paro and, uh, Aurel's house single? It's supposed to be in the southern part here. But I don't see it. Is it actually like in their house? Yeah. Okay. Then there's Pumpkin Patch Single. There's also a Gratitude Crystal outside of their house. No, there's not. Alright, Pumpkin's mod check? Jump down to the climbable wall over there? Wait, is there one? I'll check that in a second. Hold up. They're supposed to be in this pumpkin area. There we go. Alright, then there's two in Central Skyloft. Verna Crystal and Between Planks Single. Yeah, that's one of the things I really wish they would have done in Skyward Sword HD. Add, like, an upgrade stamina bar so you can get, like, two wheels at least. Uh, so, or, like, it takes half of the stamina and it becomes blue. It's just something that took inspiration from, from, like, Breath of the Wild. All right, the next two I have now is Werna Crystal and Between Two Planks. Let's go. And that should be all the crystals I can get, according to the tracker. I don't know where those are, though. Between Two Planks, I'm assuming you mean down here? I'm guessing that's the between two planks. So I have no idea where the word crystal is. Was that the one on the ledge I got? Wait, but I can't even see on the tracker enough. Watch 30 gratitude reward the another five crystals. I'm gonna be so sad. Alright, that's all the ones I can find here. Uh, is there any in the overall that I can get? Wait, I honestly don't think I can get 30 crystals right now. I don't see enough. 
And there's nothing in the tracker I see that I can get other than stuff that's in blue, which is like basically possible to get, but not intended to get. I'm pretty sure I'm soft locked. Look in the sky region, I did. I got two rewards from him. The five and the ten one. The next one is thirty. Already talked to him, Chad. Western Cliff Island. Oh, that's got to be the thing I got. Okay. There's actually nothing on the tracker that I can see right now that I can get that is green, except for the goddess statue chest, the two, but I don't have two. Can't enter beetle shop. And in the overworld, the only thing I can access is the Nehru, and there, there's nothing where I can get. I'm so confused. The tracker literally is not showing me any chests that I'm supposed to get that I can get. Maybe I can buy something in the main shop. Let me make a day and see what I can buy. Is the breakable boulder in the bottom right of the sky not shown as visible? I don't see anything like that. Am I supposed to do that during day or night? When you go towards the statue, right after you... What statue? What? I swear, this tracker is not accurate. If there's locations I'm missing, this tracker is not accurate. There's an island there, but that's a skyward chest. I can't get that. Chat, there's nothing down there. I oh, I understand what chat means now. There's nothing down here. Hold on, I'll show you. Do you mean down there? There's nothing down there on that path. 
That's just what you have to do in like the normal game when this gate is closed. I have to wait. Hold on. I don't have enough stamina. Are you sure that this chest you're talking about isn't the one that was moved at the uh, that's at the top and the front of the entrance? Yeah. No, thank you. I regret agreeing to not having a sword now. Should have asked for more. <laughs> yep, no chest down there. Yeah, let me see. Let me make a day and see if I can buy something. I've got an all the gratitude crystals I can get, yes, and I'm I'm short. No, the minigame on the Colorful Island is not the labeled as something that I can do in the randomizer tracker. I swear, I've double, triple checked the Skyloft thing. It's not that many things to check, chat. There's nothing available to me right now here. Let me go to the shop and check. I believe the seed is possible. I believe the tracker is not. <laughs> <It's back right. laughs> I think the tracker is just missing some locations. I've been tracking the crystals. It that's doesn't matter. 
Chat, there's nothing, there's no reason to go talk to the devil again. He's not going to give me anything new. I've already talked to him twice. He told me come back when you have 30. I don't know why I should go back. People keep saying there's breakable boulders underneath the island. Where? I'm so confused. You're saying that's the location it's not on the tracker I should get? Yeah, in settings, I turned everything on that I could. The only thing I didn't turn on... The only thing I didn't turn on because there's an option for it is that I'm swordless. I'm just anything that I see that's sword related, I'm just basically not doing. I shouldn't be able to do the cave. I don't have a sword. I'll go check. Maybe the oh, it's open. But once again, the tracker does not state that I can do it. Dude, this is so rough. Because obviously, like, I like not having a proper Mac tracker for someone that does is, doesn't know how to hondo this game is is just rough. This is so rough. There's a ledge here, though. I've already done the water thing here, chat. I've already done this cave here. I'm telling you, the devil will not have anything. I'm telling you, Frank. It's not going to have anything. We talked to him. Could you try and hit Beetle's bell with a pumpkin? That's a pretty decent idea, actually. I can't spin attack something on an island. I don't have a sword.
I've already done the soup quest. I've already gotten the item from it. I did not get a bottle from it. No, I got a bomb bag from it instead. I don't think you can do it. I'm getting so sad. I'm getting so mad that this tracker doesn't have the locations. I'm so lost. I need a track. I need a proper good tracker. I'm sure once it opens up more, it's be easier. But right now, this is so annoying. I just recovered financially from your last subathon. You can't keep doing this to me, Linkus. Well, good thing I'm not doing a subathon on it's sub temperathon. The other tracker doesn't have- this is the only map tracker that exists. There is another online tracker, but that one, to my understanding, does not have a map tracker. Because there's an online one. But, yeah, that one doesn't have a... Uh, what was my settings again? Crap. Link us, hey, finally one year. Let me see what the online one says. Let me post the permalink in here. Yo, thank you for the 10 gifties, MPO. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. This online tracker doesn't even agree with my permalink. I pasted my permalink in and... It doesn't even take my permalink properly. Because it doesn't- it does locations that I know I have off. Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. Sorry. Anyways, okay. Uh, let's just click on launch tracker. Yeah, this one doesn't have... This tracker doesn't have any... Let's see. On this tracker, let's see what it says I can do. On Knight's Academy, I can do Fledge's Gift, Olin's Gift, Sparring Hall Chest, Chest and Goddess Statue, First Chest and Goddess Statue, Second Chest and Goddess Statue. The only, Once again, I can't find that second chest. On Central, Potion Ladies, Lady Gift, Peros Gift, and R Rinus Crystals? Wait, Rinus Crystals? Ooh. Have I gotten that? That sounds like something I have not done. Because this one doesn't have a map tracker, but it has like a list of the things in name instead. Does anyone know what that is? Vernus Crystal? One of the houses across the bridge. Well, it's called Central Skyloft, not, and this is Skyloft Village. I don't know, but sure, we'll check here.
I'm looking for Renus Crystal. Okay. Yeah, sorry chat, my internet is not having the best of times at the moment. If it lags temporarily, it's just my internet dropping frames. I can't do much. Go back across the bridge and then right. Okay. Oh, that house right there? Ooh, pause champ. Please tell me this is it. No, wait, please don't tell me that crystal means that it's like literally just a crystal crystal at night. Oh, more, right? Oh. I used accidentally an older version of the randomizer. I just used the most recent 1.2 release on GitHub. Oh, you mean this thing? Oh my god! Finally! Hello, Beetle! Don't worry about a sword. Better check if your pool is fine. These bits. <laughs> Why is it A to shoot or oh, whatever? Let me in! Harp? 300 rupees? No thanks, I'm broke. I'm broke! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Okay, I'm gonna click off and you. I'm gonna use both trackers because this map tracker is not updating properly. So I'm just gonna try and use the non map tracker. It's gonna make me sad because I can't see where on the map it is. But yeah, I'm gonna try and use this on the side too. Okay. Hold on, let me just double check here.
Uh, we've done, hold on, let me make sure here and click off everything here. I've done Fledge's Gift. I've done Olin's Gift. Sparing Hall Chest. Have I done that? God, when it's names, I don't know. Chest near Goddess Statue, I've done that. And I've done the first chest in there. Sparring. That's a sword chest? Okay. I've also done Crystal and Link's Room and the Academy Plant one. I'm just gonna click, uh, I'm just gonna click off the second chest for now, so it's, it doesn't bother me. Potion Lady Gift, I've done that. Paro's Gift, and Rinna's Crystal, so I've done both of those. Crystal and Light Tower, I've done that. Crystal and Aurelie's and Paro's House. I think I did that one. I definitely did West Cliff, and I definitely did Crystal in between Wooden Planks. Beatrix. I've done 5 and 10 crystals. In Sky, I definitely did the chandelier. Uh, I literally can't click on all the items on this tracker. It's broken, this website one. I have to change my resolution on my screen to make it work. God, this is so awful. How is there no good trackers in this? Anyways. Alright, let's go to... Let's go back to Lineva and hit the crystal with the, with the thing. Let's do grid layout, I agree with that. Let's do a grid layout. That's easier. I really hope I don't need to get the 300 rupees for the Ballad of the Goddess, because that's going to be one expensive time. And very slow to get 300 rupees somehow. Let's go! Okay, there's supposed to be a chest here now that I can get. Alright, this gotta be it. Thank the Lord. Oh my God. We got a goddamn sword. Okay, this is ball. I will go to sleep now. GM chat. See you another time. Link us hey, Link us hug. Good night, these bits. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Thank you for an hour and a half of absolute pain. I appreciate it. Everybody that's been enjoying an hour and a half of confusion and pain, you guys can all thank these bits.
He is single-handedly responsible for it. I just realized you're right. I can't do the Skyward Strike with a sword. Damn it! I enjoyed it. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah now we can go to the cave. I don't know why it says press B to take out the thing when it does it automatically for you when you get close. When you dig a hole with your friends, it's a way to avoid committing murder. What? Thanks for the 250 bits, but what? Yo, 29 out of 30? Oh my god. Do you think it's been this the whole time? There's no way. What if this whole time it was actually 30 gratitude crystals that was locking us out of everything? Oh my god. If so, I actually... Because I've gotten every crystal possible so far that you could have possibly gotten in the game. I guess maybe now a few more. Wait, there's a chest on uh I just need to get. Anyways. I need to go back. I forgot the chest. Anyways, until I got my sword and slingshot, I every single one of the maps, so... This could actually have been a very evil start of a seed. Uh, can I even get up there? Oh. No. Yeah, I can. I see on the tracker that there's uh, two crystals here at night. So I should probably make it night, go and get the crystals so I get 30. So I can check that. Dude! Linkus, is this truly your favorite Zelda game? Absolutely. 
I love this game. This is unironically my favorite Zelda game. I mean, hey, the first part of actually like improving is to admit your fault. So I'm glad that you're coming clean with this, man. We now we can talk about it. I like using a high... Uh, I, I actually prefer Switch motion controls. I think it's a bit awkward to play Switch buttons, but I think that the Wii motion controls are not great. So I think Switch motion controls is the best way to play the game. If you have to play Skyward Sword. The only thing about the Switch that's not perfect is the fact that when you use items like the bow, it doesn't know where the screen is. However, this is why to me it didn't bother me because the rest of the motion controls is so much better than the original. What I got into the habit of doing is quite simple. Any single time I took out a first person item, I literally just pressed the button to take out the first person item and then R. I just had that muscle memory and like I just did it at the same time. I just did bam. Like I did this motion every time I took out a first person item. So I pressed both my thumb in for the item and that. So I immediately reset it. Because that's the only thing that annoyed that was not perfect. Otherwise the motion controls are so much better. So once you get used to just pressing that button immediately, way better. Alright. That's the 30 I need. I don't need to care about it anymore, because I said it's so a 30 was the max we needed. That's it. Let's check how much how grat how much gratitude this game actually has for us. No, so his rewards are 5, 10, 30, 30, 40, 50. I set, the, I set it to, I think, 30, didn't I? Let me check the settings. But I'm pretty sure I set it to 30, meaning I should get two items right now, and then that's it. I don't need to get any more gratitude stuff. Yep, max reward 30. So I'll get two rewards right now, and then we never have to get gratitude things ever again. It better be good. Is that cat in game or is that DK outside my room? Say hi to Chad. Hey, 
Hey, you want to say hi to chat? Hey. Nope. Do not. Nope. Nope. There you go. Say hi to Twitch chat. Hey, buddy. Look. Hey, camera. Hey, buddy. Look. Nice Twitch chat. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're purring so hard, you lonely out there. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta play some video games. Hey, what you doing? What you doing, buddy? Can you guys hear us purring? Come here, buddy. It's time to say bye. Say bye to Twitch chat. Bye. Say bye. Bye, buddy. Oh, hey, buddy. I'm so happy. I'm shocked you guys can't hear the purr. Hey buddy. Oh, someone giving you attention. Alright. Bye. I'm gonna pee while I'm standing up anyways. All right, let's do it. I was shocked about one thing. I, one thing, by the way, a little bit of a heads up in case anyone's thinking of moving to California. We just got our electricity bill. Um, and from running the AC and having the three computers on, it's like $600 a month <laughs> for the, just the electricity here in LA where we are. Six hundred dollars a month for the two months that the bill was for it was one point two k. So if any of you guys are like, man, I really want to move to California, don't, <laughs> don't. Here we go. Oh, you gather quite a lot of gravity crystals. Go. All right, let's go. Here we go. What the hell is that? It's a baby toy? What is that? What is that? Dude. Rattle? Rattle these nuts.
All right. <laughs> Got him. Sorry, I forgot to add that. Uh, is there even is there is there anything in the tracker for the rattle? Oh, yeah, there is. You have such a magnificent progress gathering. Gratitude crystals. Please just continue helping me a bit longer. <laughs> Rattle these nuts. That's going to be my next text notification. I beg you, please. The chest is not to be open under any circumstances. I want to open it. I said no. That chest contains the infamous evil and the dreaded cursed metal. If you carry the metal with you, you will find more rupees than ever before. You'll even have better chances of discovering treasure. You'll, 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 don't make me say it. Sounds handy. Now that you mention it, it does sound pretty enticing, but it gets worse. Far, far worse. Any poor soul who holds the metal will find himself unable to open his pouch. Really? Damn. Give it to me. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Can we get some easy clap in the chat? Easy clap. Dude, this is so easy. This is the easiest Zelda game I've ever played. I've literally not even struggled once yet. Uh, I actually quite like this. I also turned off the setting for, uh, for him because I don't want to see the gratitude crystals anymore because they confuse me. Apparently, in the academy, I should now be able to receive something called Zelda's Heart Piece. Alright. Chad, I'm feeling so much gratitude that I just... I really want to share something with you guys. Because there's just so much gratitude. Um... Because it's like we're having such good luck with all of this gratitude right now, uh, I want to say that one of my one of my best friends is also feeling very have, feeling a lot of gratitude, which is Jeff Bezos. So he decided to give all of you guys an amazing opportunity where you can subscribe for free by the use of a simple Prime sub. That's right. Did you know that if you link your Amazon account with your Twitch account to so you get Prime Gaming, you can subscribe for free. You get no ads, all the emotes. Add time to the subathon. It's that easy. Sorry, Septemberathon. So much gratitude. <laughs> oh my God, Dave with the gratitude. That's what I'm talking about. Drake's in the chat. So much gratitude right there. Thank you for the gratitude, Dave. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, that was one of my more proud transitions into a prime announcement. Go up on the roof, Linkus? During night? Sure. Claw shot the chimney? Oh wait, the chimney. Sorry. Pepega. Oh, 
Oh, do I am I supposed to turn in the maracas uh during the during the during the night? Okay. I just need to figure out where they are. I feel like a thief right now. I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> Disappointed! Even more disappointed! <laughs> yeah, we ran out of gratitude. Bezos took all the gratitude with him to space to... No, not SpaceX. Hold on, crap. Jeff Blue? No, that's another billionaire. Um uh Or is it? I don't remember. Blue or <laughs> is that what it's called? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember which space company Bezos owns, whatever. Thank you, Zer, for the Prime Gaming sub. I appreciate it. <gasps> Another primer, let's go! Can I just say, by the way, chat, that currently we are at 31 hours, which means that since I started the Wind Baker randomizer yesterday, we have made zero hours of progress. That is literally what we were at during the entire rando. Thank you, Pyro, for the Prime Gaming sub, my friend. I appreciate it. Okay, uh, you guys said potions. Is that one, two, three, or four? Four, okay. He was attacking me! That's how I'm gonna speak to my future children. Why are you not getting much sleep? Sorry to worry you. The baby goes on and something like all night. I haven't slept a wink in. Yeah, I don't even know how long. The baby she sleeps like a sack of rocks. But that was before we lost the you know what. No, what? The baby's rattle. If we had if we had the you know what, then the baby would settle down. But we lost it the other day. A bird picked it up and Oh, I got you. Yo, that's awesome, Azura. Welcome to the stream. I'm glad you're the YouTube content. Hey, you're here live for the making of a YouTube video. This is gonna go on YouTube. So I got you. Also, thank you, uh, Joe Cool, for the Prime Gaming 9 Month Resub. I'm glad I could at least give you some of Bezos' money. Thank you. <laughs> An ancient sea chart. Is that bad? No. I don't even see where on the tracker that is. Oh, there. That's not too bad. I feel like I'm back to Wind Waker. Do you think I can steal this bed? Sorry, you're not getting any sleep. I'm taking your bed. Yoink. I'm assuming that was baby crystals, because normally they give you a crystal for that. Okay. 
I think there's some more stuff I can do now in Lineiru since I have the hookshot. Let me just check if the second chest spawned now when I got my sword. Or if it has to be the goddess sword. Is, is this main channel? Yes, I'm going to upload this to the main channel. And the VOD channel. Uh, yeah, I think in my version it doesn't have it, or it's the goddess word. Can't believe it's been two years. Thanks for the great content, Link us. Link Yo, us three. thank you for the two year resub, my friend. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Anyways. Uh, let's go to Lineiru. Wait a second, can I do anything in here? Months, it is a long time. No, I don't see anything in the tracker for doing the uh, training with him down there. It will have spawned from the start otherwise, even if I'm swordless? Okay. I should be able to get a landing chest here now. And there's also says that there's a mine cave that I can get things in. Let's go! Got a sword, baby! Now we can do cubes and stuff. I don't know what cube that is, though. Uh, crap. Oh, the sword doesn't update on a tracker? Sorry about that. There you go. Okay. Click that cube off. I think I can have way more locations now. I think this is very good for me, chat. Does anyone know what the max amount of rupees are that you can hold in a p uh, without an upgrade? Three hundred in this game. Okay. We. Oui. 
I guess I missed you. I'm here. I never left. Welcome back, though. Finally catching the best Zelda game on your stream. Are you serious? I hate this game. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's my favorite Zelda game as well. Uh, at the East, thank you for the 22 month resub. Yeah, I'm glad you can catch it too. And yeah, I know Break Slide, and Break Slide is not Skyward Sword exclusive. It just happens to be more useful in this game. But basically, almost everything that works in Skyward Sword works in Wind Waker and TP as well. It's just a modified engine of Wind Waker. You can Break Slide in Wind Waker too. Oh crap, I think I need bombs here. Never mind, I have bombs. Yep, uh, back in time that they do all the time in the title screen initiates from a glitch in Wind Waker. You can do it in Wind Waker, it's just not useful. You can do it in Twilight Princess and it's kind of useful, but not to the same extent as Skyward Sword. The glitch exists in all games. We just don't use it in Wind Waker at all. I'm doing the direction! What the hell? Dude! Well, imagine that it all of a sudden starts working once I recalibrate. It's almost like this game's awful.
Can't you clip off their vines? Maybe I can't because it's on the ceiling. Damn it. What? You respawn back here? Yeah, I don't have a shield. I didn't have money to buy a shield last time I was in the main world. Yeah, I see that the mines are in logic. The mines are in logic on the tracker. I don't know how to get there in logic. That's why I'm doing the brake sliding. But according to logic, I'm supposed to be able to get there. There's a path where you start. Really? Because I see that the entire cave that I was just in is in logic. Oh. Wait, this is the upgraded version, isn't it? What? Well, that's nice. Oh, I was going to the wrong area. This is the caves that I was intended to go to. All right, here I'm supposed to be able to... Wait, this is version 1.0. Can I still get softlock talking to this Goron? In the randomizer? No? Okay. Wow, actually vanilla? Or maybe that's always guaranteed. Go, we take those clean. So, wait, is that? That, so that was Golo, and the cave's chest had this key, and that's guaranteed? Am I understanding that correctly? Or is there another chest in there? Why do you have a chicken is not a burger in your category? My mods are trolling me. I didn't set those. Basically, yesterday I just said on stream that the US is weird because almost the entire rest of the world, almost every country calls a chicken sandwich a chicken burger. And I said, and no, and I basically said that the logic, the fact that it has to be grounded up to be considered a burger in the U.S. is dumb. And then some people were so proud Americans that they refused to accept the fact that the rest of the world is right. Because America is always right with their freedom units and their one-of-a-kind things.
But anyways, I'm not getting in that again. I'm not getting back into that topic. That was like a half an hour conversation. I cannot take that again. There are a lot of things in the Nehru Desert that I can do now, actually. Milkshake versus smoothie. I remember that combo, but isn't that just related to the fact that a milkshake... has ice cream in it. I don't remember exactly what we ended up uh, having the conclusion to that combo too, but it was a long one. I'm not having that one again either. Linera Sansi Powered Stronghold Third Chest has a progressive wallet. Sky Beetle Crystal has heart piece, okay. No, after our very long conversation about smoothie versus ice cream, or sorry, smoothie versus milkshake, we came to the conclusion that the part milkshake doesn't make any sense because you can put milk in a smoothie and it would still be a smoothie. So we, we just threw that out the window and just all agreed that it's if you put the ice cream in. Because otherwise, Chow was never going to give up. I've just noticed that for small things that don't really matter, we will have the biggest fights and arguments in Twitch chat ever. Like this pineapple belong a pizza. So I kind of just give up on these subjects at times now. Because there's it never ends. But yeah, pineapple does not belong a pizza. Absolutely not. Can I, can I just say, this is a hard game to do a randomizer on if you haven't like 100%ed it. Like this is a rough one. It's a really rough game. It's gonna take us a long time to do this. Temple of Time. I'm assuming Temple of Time is included in the Nehru Desert because I don't see an option for Temple of Time on my thing. Okay, I see chest before hook beetle, chest on top of LMF, chest near trial, chest near fire node, sand oasis chest, cube sand oasis, cube near hook beetle. Um. Pineapple belongs to whatever you think it belongs on. Why would you ever argue on a subjective topic? My man, that is how the world works. I don't know how to tell you this more, but have you ever heard of politics or anything ever? <laughs> we argue about subjective things 24-7 in our life. Almost everything we argue about is subjective. That is not an open invitation to talk about politics. That will result in a hammer.
cold pizza? Chat, I'm losing respect for your takes. Do you guys think that this would be considered cube near hook beetle or would this be cube sand oasis? This has got to be sand oasis, right? This has got to be the oasis one. Pizza with milk. I can still not get behind people that just drink a glass of milk with nothing else to it. Like, if we're talking about chocolate milk, then, like, hell yeah. But just, like, sitting down and having a glass of milk is just bad. Also, this is brake sliding. For everyone that keeps asking what brake sliding is... I... I could kill him, but I'm... I don't have the patience. Anyways, okay. So, let me explain how to do brake sliding for everyone, Okay. So when you run, you have a lot of speed, right? But when you're running in the sand, you're walking, you're running slowly. So I run into the sand and then I pause my game and I hold target and slightly down on the analog stick and I'm pause. And that's going to result in me basically slowly losing speed and momentum from my running speed. And I'm going to walk way faster. Look at this. Vroom. Then I run a little bit again to build it up. And then, vroom. It's almost like, imagine that it's almost like I'm avoiding the friction of the sand. That's kind of the idea of it. Anyways, let me actually pay attention and do this now. Ugh. Knowledge behind a paywall. Oh, wait, did an ad just play? Twitch always knows when to play an ad. It's always when you're explaining something. I think that's Bezos' secret strat. Actually, I don't think it's so secret anymore. I think this is chest before hook beetle. Because I think this is where you normally get the hook beetle. Sag. Okay, chest on top of LMF. I have no idea what LMF is, though. And then there's a chest near trial. This gotta be the one near... Oh, the near mining facility. Okay. I'm starting to get a feeling that a lot of this randomizer is going to be hitting these goddamn cubes, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I also have a chest near fire node and, uh, and sand oasis chest. There's a lot of chests here. Fortunately, I don't have bombs. Ooh, this got to be chest near trial. This has to be chest near trial. Damn it. I don't want to show gratitude. No more gratitude.
Do you think I can walk over the sand? I wonder if I can, without the beetle, throw the bomb, run over there, pick up the bomb, and throw it a second time. I wonder if I have time for that. Yeah, now when I'm realizing the difficulty of this game as a randomizer, I'm understanding why chat wanted me to play this so badly. This is all starting to make sense to me now. Damn it. I don't know. That timing looks too rough to get into it. The 100% world record is 6 hours and 45 minutes, though, Linkus. That's like saying, yeah, but Breath of the Wild's 100% world record is only 16 hours. That might be true, but normal casuals will still probably take over 100 hours to do it. <laughs> you can grapple the bomb? No, it explodes. Hmm. You know what? I will not even try and copium that. I am a casual gamer when it comes to Skyward Sword. How long do I think this is going to go for? Uh, I don't think I'm going to play Skyward Sword Rando for the full 12 hours today. I think I'm going to... Um, I think I'm going to play Skyward Sword for a while. Do other stuff. And then do more Skyward Sword tomorrow, probably. I don't know if mentally I can take 12 hours of this. We'll see, though. Maybe if it opens up, it gets easier. I don't know if this is chest near fire node or sand oasis chest. Uh... This is near fire node? Okay. I'm so happy I have people that actually know this rando in this chat. Yeah, if I look at the goals for promised guaranteed things, the next thing on the schedule will be Wednesday, it's Ocarina of Time 3D randomizer. Should be fine. Yeah, we'll play some Fall Guys at some point in the subathon. Oh, uh, I think I need... I don't think I can do this room yet. Do you think I could slide all the way down in this room to get the chest up there, though? I don't actually know.
Yeah, I guess I could just do this. Alright. Yeah, shortcut chest. That is in logic here. Not more gratitude. That's a good stretch. Usually when I want to show people gratitude, I just give them a giant big kiss. Like, mwah. I will see how it feels like to play with Pro. -Hot. I'll test it. How about this? Let's just do light hot. Is that better, chat? Because I want to see my buttons. You okay with this? Wait, I don't know if I can do anything here. Is this the mining facility? Is this what it was this be considered the mining facility or is it just like the electric trial thingy? God, it, I really should have done a playthrough of Scarlet Tour before this. There's a sand oasis chest that I still have not found that is in logic. Where the hell is that? Oh. It would be near the Sand Oasis Cube. Listen to like all the way over there though. Um. Oh God, it disappeared. I think it was over there. God. I really want bombs. Because there's a chest I'm supposed to be able to get that's on top of Lanero ground. 
I don't understand how I'm supposed to be able to get a chest on top of Laneru mining facility if it's this thing right here. Because I can't race the mining facility. Because if it's open, it means that I must be able to race the facility, but I don't have what it takes to race the facility. So I don't understand why that's... That's open to me. Oh, it's because it thinks that it's opened? No, a closed mining facility is off. I guess the tracker is just broken then, because it is clicked on that it is closed. Okay, then whatever. Uh, there's one or two chests I'm supposed to be able to get here. And there's also one in mid Oh, so the things in the mining facility also can't get then. Uh, that means that the only things here is there's... The only chest then here, there's a... The only thing I can get then here that is left is the sand oasis chest. Unless that also requires you to raise it. These are the three chests we have gotten. Hmm. To the right of me? It's over here? Alright. Oh, it's to the left of me? It's here? Oh, is that it? Oh my god, I think that's it. Oh, Pog. Oh, I can't reach that. Oh crap, I have to go around. Let me take a little rest. Yeah. Nothing on the sink sand I can keep going. No, I'm pretty sure if it doesn't show in the sink sand that I can stand there, then I can't. Oh, never mind. Alright. I'm so disappointed. Alright, well... Uh... That's all I can get down here. So I guess it's back to Sky. Should mark the cave key? Yeah, I gotcha. Point. Where's the closest bird to me that I can get? Birds don't show up on the map? Come on, bro. Uh, there's no location on the tracker that says that I can do anything in Sansi. There's one up there. Oh, it's the orange dots? Oh. Oops.
birds. Volcanic Island has an open one now. Let's hope it's good. Ooh, Din's power. That's got to be the red zone. That's good. I think. Pretty sure that's good. Lanayru mines chest near first time. Sh oh, sheet! Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me, let me be writing these down. It's a good hint. Hold on. Oh wait, I already have this one. Oops. I already have this one too. I think. Yeah. Shit. I wish I talked to you sooner. My birthday is coming soon. Phil's birthday, man. You know what? I will say, despite me not being the biggest Skyward Sword fan in the world, I do think that the music is some of the best in the franchise in this game. Hey, Linkus. I am applying to nursing schools right now and wanted to let you know that you've been a big inspiration to me. Not enough male nurse representation out there. Thank you for the content. I inspired you? Well, damn. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I don't know what I did to inspire you, but I'm glad to hear it nonetheless. That's good. I will say one very good thing, Xandroid. That one of the best things, except for helping people, about being a nurse, is that it is one of the best securities in terms of job like job security is amazing especially as a guy because many hospitals have a lack of male nurses and there are patients that for specific things like for example you know when it's things down below in the belt a lot of male patients want male nurses to help you with those things while for example i've had many times where a female patient asked for a female nurse instead of me when it was the other way around so because of that hospitals always look for male staff so i can guarantee you you will always be able to find a job because a there's almost never enough me medical staff anyways no matter um no matter male or female and on top of that as well you're a like, guy so it's going to be even easier so 100%. Um, amazing choice. Um, I wish you the best of luck. I will say, though, uh, studying is awful. We're going to be bored to death, but it's going to be worth it. Ooh, okay. We take those. No, when I said best part of it, but the best part of it is that you have great job security for the future. I guess how I like to look at it, and maybe you guys disagree, but I like to look at it this way. Maybe I'm wrong here, but 
You know, technology changes everything. I still feel like no matter what, there will always be use of medical staff. Maybe I'm wrong. I just feel like no matter what happens, there will always be need for medical staff. I feel like it's a very safe, future-proofing job in terms of education. I think it's, I think it's a safe bet. Also, thank you, Sman, for the 27 month threes, my friend. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Anyways, that's what I meant by one of the best things. Uh, and I hope you're doing good, Sman. I just realized we never had our call this Saturday. I completely forgot. I assume you did too. Let me know any uh, any like end of a day uh, that you're available and we can have a talk. I I'm I'm available. I think it's easier. Either I'm available in the morning or in the uh, at the evening after my stream. Just let me know data works for you. Whoa! September is now live. <laughs> Yo, thank you, uh, Cyber, for converting your Prime sub to a normal sub. I appreciate it. Whoa, September is now alive? Chad, you're going to be excited. I won't give you more details yet, but just know that uh, there's some lowest percent plans in mind. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it. We will have updates very soon. Ah. Wait, that was a six month sub? Was it a six month? Wait, really? Can I, wait, what? It says converted a prime sub to a tier one. That's all I see. Did it say six months? Do you guys see six months? I didn't see that it was six months. Either way, thank you for converting the sub. And taking advantage of the 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 discount. Thank you, thank you. You can't whistle for the burr there. Wow. Wait, what? I'm at the wrong island? I'm not. What? You need bombs to get this one? This game is bullshit sometimes. You are still stuck with me. Keep up the good streams. Yo, thank you, uh Steel Shark, and I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you.
Uh, there is... No, we're not doing bamboo. Last time I did bamboo, I had wrist pain for two days. I'm never doing bamboo again. There better not be any rewards locked behind bamboo. Okay, waterfall goddess chest. I actually know where that is. Wait, do we still have that clip for the bamboo? There's no way. No, this game is freaking trash. You know what? This game, okay. It's not me, okay? Give me a freaking controller and tell me that I cannot flick my freaking sword 30 times when I can do 17, 18, 19 times that I got that analog stick per second. Please tell me that I don't have the speed to do this. This thing just sucks. <laughs> It's true. It was not my speed's fault. This the game just sucks. On a more serious note, basically what the problem is is you have to be careful with how you're swinging it because if you're swinging it too, if you're swinging it actually too fast, the motion controls actually lose track. There is like a technique behind it that makes it consistent. I don't know if people are posting copium. Like, it's not true that Skyward Sword's motion controls gets lost and uncalibrated if you swing your sword too much. Oh, trust me. I had a lengthy conversation with Gymnast about Skyward Sword because I needed to understand how... A man like Gymnast could love this game so much. Also, where is this chest behind Waterfall? I'm so confused. Is it like the waterfalls on the top of the island? Basically, I asked, since you guys, you guys probably know that uh, Gymnast's favorite Zelda game is Skyward Sword. So I had a conversation with him. I was like, what do you have to say? Legitimately, no hate, just a, like, a good conversation about the Skyward Sword's most controls. And what he told me was this. He said this. He said, with the hardware that Nintendo had available to them, they made motion controls with how they assumed that a sword would behave seamlessly. Meaning that a lot of people have a different perspective of how a sword should behave with motion controls. So if your mentality of how they should behave don't align with Nintendo's vision, you will absolutely hate them. But if you're in the part of a group of people that actually naturally has the same conclusion of how motion controls should behave as Nintendo had when designing the game, you will not have a problem. And I thought, you know what? That's a pretty fair good answer. I thought that was a that was a five eight answer from Jim. I I kind of agree with that. Oh, I, I can kind of see what that is. Cause Boogie. when I first started playing Skyward Sword, I hated it. And I thought every section was awful. And after I've been playing it for a couple of hours, I stopped doing what I, how I wanted to control the motion controls, and I started to control them the way that I realized that the game wanted me to, and it became less bad. Uh, I still think the motion controls are worse than con uh, controller, but it became less of an issue. Um, I think for me, and I've noticed that I noticed that this is better with the Switch version than the uh, than the Wii version. But I think here is my big issue, and let me try and explain it. And if you like Skyward Sword, this is not a hate. This is just like basically explaining a, an issue that I have. But it's much better on the HD version. Let me explain, okay? Okay, you have the Wii mode, right? Let's say you need to do a side one, right? In my opinion, if I do this, that's a side slash, and this is an up slash. Does that make sense? Well, on the Wii mode specifically, because of how the motion controls are not perfect, how you have to do it is you have to hold, go to the right, 
hold it there for like a split second and then do it to the side. If you just like do a side motion, it doesn't always perfectly do the side. It does it sometimes, but it, the Wii doesn't do it well. And same thing, if you're just like moving it like that quickly, it doesn't like always do the up motion the way it should be, right? So often you have to like actually fully like move it and then do it, right? Move it and do it, which I don't like. It's much better on the Switch though. On the Switch, because the motion controls are better, it actually registers quick motions like that, where that is an up. This is a side. Does that make sense? I think that was my biggest grudge with the motion controls in Skyward Sword. Um, that there's almost like a slight delay. In it. I, I just feel like it's slightly holding it back the Wii ones. I will say though, even though I... To be fair to Skyward Sword, I think the music is some of the best out of any Zelda game. I think the story is pretty good. And I think that some of the dungeons have a very cool and interesting theme to them. So I don't think all is bad about this game. I, I don't think so. Wait, what? Why did I not... What? Oh, do I have to hookshot to get up there? Do you not just spawn up there? This isn't the chest either? Where is the behind the waterfall one? I'm so confused. Did I not hit the right thing? Are we sure I have the behind the waterfall one? Did I hit the wrong thing on my tracker? I think I just hit the wrong thing on the tracker. Because there's three goddess statues here, and I've seen all three of them now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've, I've seen all three of them. I think I just haven't hit them. I think the tracker is just wrong. Because I've seen all three of the chests that there exists here. And all three of them are locked. Oh wait, there's a new thing though I can do here in the academy. It's called Colin's Letter. Let's go and check out what that is. He's supposedly in the academy. Does anyone know who Collins is? Not talking Twilight. He's a short dude. He's Gruus's short friend. Okay. Bath. Zelda. Instructor. Instructor. Headmaster. Oh, that's gotta be it. Do I have to find Groose or something to get the letter? Make it night and then go towards the bathroom? You have to be kidding me. Are you actually serious?
Thank you, Versia, for the Prime sub. I love a good old Prime. Thank you. I feel like I should not be listening into this. Uh oh. Any kind of paper at all? You got any paper? Make it day now? Yeet. The short guy... Oh, there he is. Don't you dare. This is no ordinary piece of paper. It's a letter. A very special one at that. I put my heart into every word. I guess you could say it's a sort of like a... Alright, fine. It's a love letter. And that is why you will never, not under any circumstances, ever allow it to be used as toilet paper. Do you hear me? So listen up. The person you must give it to is a girl. An upperclassman. Her name is Karani. You know who I am, who I mean, right? She's the one with the round hat. She's really cute. You know the one? Don't you dare, not even by mistake, even think of giving it to the weirdo in the restroom. Swear it. Here it is. I'm entrusting this letter to you, so don't- Why is he even giving it to me? Why not deliver it himself? Oh, baby! A triple kill! We take those! Wait, where is that on the tracker? Am I blind? Uh... Third column, fourth item, that's a net. Found them! I'm counting on you, Linkus. Get to it. Yeah, I will. Alright, let's go! That's a pretty good item that unlocks more locations. Oh no, it's back to Lanayru. Chat, don't be Pepega. Look. One row, one column, two columns, three columns. Row number four. One, two, three, four. That's the net. One, two, three columns. Columns are vertical. Says who? K. 
Can a column be... Horizontal. Well, if rows are meant to be drawn horizontally, columns are... Hold on, that's got to be wrong. A rows is here as a data place on horizontal. This is so... I think Google is wrong. Columns are... Very... Uh, wrong. Both are physical structures that supports up and down. One is horizontal. It's so wrong. Columns can and do create horizontal... My Google is malfunctioning, sorry. <laughs> Chat, we just do it differently in Sweden, okay? Trust me. No copium. You just do it differently in Sweden. He definitely moved to NA. <laughs> yeah, that NA education is starting to kind of tickle over, isn't it? The amount of times I hear that I'm from Switzerland when I say that I'm Swedish is kind of terrifying when I'm in America, by the way. I I am always amazed how often these are mi mixed up. I don't understand how. Ancient Harbor. Hold on, actually, I think I can get there if I go here and then I go left. Oops. I feel like most Americans will know of Canada at least. And probably Mexico. And actually the UK, they might, some people might say that the country is called London, but they still probably at least know of the UK, even if they call it London. My sister thought that Canada was a state. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I don't know. Do you really think Canadians would take that as an insult? Wouldn't Canadians be proud to be accidentally referred to as Americans, you think? Definitely not. Are you saying that I'm the weird one for being fascinated with the United States? Uh, where is this cube? Let me save this so I can warp here, actually. It says that there's a cube I can get here in Ancient Harbor. Is this not Ancient Harbor?
It's in the corner with all the boxes. I can't get up there, though. There's a claw shot target up there. Oh, maybe I have to be on top of here and then I can see it. Five head. That is true. Being good at Zelda games gets you tons of women. Women love Legend of Zelda. Any women in chat can confirm. Legend of Zelda is awesome. Almost 70. Seriously? Yep, definitely. If you're wondering why you're single, it's just because you gotta get faster times in Zelda. That's definitely it. <laughs> no copium here. It definitely was very popular with the ladies for me. <clears throat> 67 months? Holy crap! That's so close to being nice! Nice. Uh, thank you for the 67 months, dude. I cannot wait for 69. Thank you. Before I date a man, I have to see what their <laughs> leaderboard times are like. So true. Uh, all of these are blue. I don't know what the hell gold means. Roller coaster minigame gold. Does that mean that I can do it, but like it technically requires knowledge of a trick or skip? I don't even know. Time to play some Wind Waker, boys. I've had enough of Skyward Sword for now. Let's go. Can I, by the way, just complain about one thing with this game? Why does a boat have a stamina bar? Why? I, what? They literally just before this released a game all about a boat and an ocean. Why does this boat have a goddamn stamina bar? Overheating? Overheating my ass! Have you watched me play Windmaker? I don't see any overheating there. Shippers retreat, nothing. Okay, yeah, let's go to shipyard. It's ancient technology, though, Linkus. So? Have you guys never heard of an analog clock? Those are ancient, and they still work great. They don't overheat. Come on, everyone can read an analog clock. I hope.
shocking amount of Americans can't. That's bullshit. Can all Americans read analog clocks? Yo, Linkus, my birthday was yesterday. Can you wish me a happy belated birthday, you woo? Wow, it's actually true. Uh, thank you, High Roller, for the 23 month reason, my friend. Uh, Hi, Linkus, is my birthday was yesterday. Can you wish me a happy belated birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear High Roller. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You belong in a suit. You sing like a monkey and you walk like one too. Oh, ah, 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 ah. Roller coaster mini game heart piece. All right. Let's try and find this thing. Do I have to get off in some secret place to get this heart piece? Does anyone know? Or is it just like, get through it? Just try and get through it, Linkus. Oh, it's a mini game to get the heart piece? Does that mean I have to go through this twice? I'm not seeing a mini game. You can actually fall off of that? I've never done that before. Oh, wow.
Maybe I should slow down somewhat. That corner, I'm gonna recalibrate my motion controls. Hold on. This is so weird. I swear to God, I'm doing it correctly. It makes no sense. I'm gonna keep doing it full speed. I think it was just the motion controls were uncalibrated. Real men don't slow down. Easy clap. Literally, look. First time I recalibrated my motion controls, and look, it worked. Wait, I don't have the vacuum. I can't do this part. Let's see if I can do the mini game though. Why can I not do it? Hello? It's golden. Like, it has a golden text for it, so I assumed I could do it. I have never seen the golden font before in this. I just assumed, though, because it was golden and not blacked out that I can somehow do it. Maybe if you hover over the text, it says something? Nope. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, let's go to a different location then. Oh, the pirate stronghold I can do. I have three. I have three things in the pirate stronghold. Three different chests in the stronghold. Which one is the stronghold? Crap, is it that? Is that the stronghold? Does anyone know? 
think that's the stronghold. Time for the boat again with stamina. What happens if I run out of stamina? Yeah. It's tired. Chat, I'm a man of logic and science. That's why it frustrates me. Why does it say that this area is open with three item checks? I can't even open it, can I? On the right side of the building, there's a door. I don't think so, Chad. That wasn't a door, that was a staircase. I really should have bought a shield.
I don't want to leave and get a shield right now, but man, would a shield be nice right now? Saved! Yo! Water Dragon song, part of the song of the hero. We take those. That's all three. That's all three of them. Okay, that's one out of three chests in here. Do I need those upgrades for at all for the rando? No? Okay, good. Pizza! Alright. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit hungry. Two? Come on, let's be something good. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, dude, hold on. Let's just do this now. Bye. 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 Bye.
Go! Let's go! All three chests, baby! You know what? We take those. We take those. We take those, Chad. We take those. I have a question, uh, because I don't know how this rando works. Sneaky, is the game open, or do I have to complete this place? I'm asking because I just got all three of the chests. So is it worth beating, or should I, can I just leave now? Oh, sorry. Should I just be able to leave? Okay. I'm gonna do something. Death Warp, baby! Can I... Can I... Can I, like... Tell you guys about a conspiracy theory that I have about Skyward Sword. The developers of Skyward Sword got lazy. Let me explain before you get your pitchforks up, okay? Just hear me out. Basically, every Zelda game ever starts you with three hearts. Skyward Sword starts you with six hearts and instead just double the damage that the standard enemy normally gives you in another Zelda game. Theory being is that they couldn't figure out a way to place all 20 hearts. And that's why they gave you six at the beginning so they didn't have to figure out another 15 locations to place the heart pieces in or 12 depending on the game they did, the system to use. And to fix that... And to not make it too easy, starting with six, they instead doubled the damage. You see where I'm coming from, Chad? Uh, I think I think I have three dungeons required. I don't know what that means though I don't even know how to check which are the three dungeons that are required. I have no idea. I Have no clue. I have no clue about anything that I'm doing in this game They're on the blackboard in the Academy outside of Link's room, okay So does that mean that once I've beaten those three dungeons I can just go and beat the game? Wait! Do I have to beat the final boss to complete the rando? Best less than three.
Strummer PLS Link Us Prime. I had to pee, so I handed it to America to see if it could play while I was peeing. But I'm gonna be honest, chat, you guys are quite slow. I have not even seen a single step from Blink since I left. What is this, America? What is going on? I'm going to be honest, I'm going to finish this, but when I said, hey, <clears throat> Sneaky, could you give me some good randomizer settings? I thought he, he was going to give me, like, beginner-friendly ones. I'm starting to pick up on the part that these are not beginner-friendly. These are, like, dedicated, hardcore, everything, balls to the wall, Full out, jumping naked, good luck beating this video game kind of a seed. And I am sure loving it. You know, once we're done with this randomizer, we might as well do a playthrough of Skyward Sword HD because we might we already know everything about the game. Here we go again. Thank you for the 100 bits! Oh, a hype train? I haven't done this in a long time. Alright, uh, where can we go now? Uh, there's technically a... S uh, there's nothing here I can do, actually. Thank you! Thank you, Sneaky Seaman, for giving us good content, Pepe Laugh. Don't thank him. Uh, there's one more location and open up in the overworld. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Thank you! Yeah, I'm gonna also check my required items while I'm going there. I unlocked... Bizarre Goddess Chest. I think that's in the shop. Don't forget, Chad, for every level of the scam train, I'll blow the whistle, which is totally worth it and not a scam at all. It's a lot of effort to blow that whistle. <laughs> it requires the use of air. Let's also buy a shield while I'm here. Oh, 
Oh shit. Here we go again. Hair is a great content today. Each time you take damage in the Skyward Sword, you have to shock yourself. That sounds like a horrible idea. Also, I'm pretty sure that would probably be allowed on YouTube, actually, because I've seen similar videos. I think on Twitch, that's not allowed, actually. Twitch is actually fairly strict to those sort of things. I think that would fall under their self-harm rules. Require dungeons. Skyview, Ancient, Cistern, and Sandship. Skyward, Sword, Ancient, Cistern. Is that the dungeon with a water dragon? I'm looking at pictures of the dungeon. Is that the is that the water dragon one? Okay. And what the hell is Skyview? Oh, that's the first dungeon in the game. Well, that one is easy. Okay, so Skyview is going to be not bad. Sand ship, as long as I find the bow, I don't think it's too bad. Ancient one is going to be a bit more tedious. I need the whip for that. So basically what I need, if I'm understanding this correctly, is find enough sword upgrades to have the master sword and beat those three dungeons. Is that it? I'm gonna be honest, I'm looking around this tracker right now. I am starting to struggle. Skyloft Silent Realm. Wait, can I do that now because I have the harp? Because that's in white text now. White text should mean that it's accessible. Motion controls. Thank you. What the hell? Oh, there's an ad. I'll wait until the ad is done. Thank you, away Flame, for the sub. Speaking of which, hope you enjoy your ad free viewing experience. Oh. 
Yo, what up, Link Cuz? Do you have control over ads, Link? Is you have some control over them. Like you can avoid pre rolls by playing, I think, three minutes per hour of ads, and you can also temporarily guarantee no automatic ads by manually running them, stuff like that. But no matter what, if you never play an ad, Twitch will play random ads. You can't control that. Anyways, uh, are ads done, chat? Are ads done? Ads are done? Okay. I didn't want chat to miss this. I know this is a fan favorite. Yeah, I think my average, if I look at my dashboard before I start, I think my average uh, is two or three minutes. Around, It's around two to three minutes of ads per hour, which if you break it down, isn't actually bad compared to any other form of media. I think my biggest issue is that I swear Twitch tries to play an ad anytime something interesting happens. Like, that's my biggest issue. It just, its timings are the worst. That's what's awful. It never times them at a good time. It's always like interesting conversation. Let's play an ad. <laughs> like the timings are bad, the amount are not. Because I think we can all agree if you break it down like 60 minutes in an hour, right? Two minutes of ads, 58 minutes of, you know, whatever. That's good. Compared to normal TV, it's what? Usually TV has what? 20 minutes of ads, 40 minutes of content. Uh, even YouTube, when you're switching around videos, is going to we are on the same so it's not bad ratio wise it's just um yeah it's just annoying the timings are bad and i'm bad i'm horrible at remembering to manually run them to avoid the automatic ones i think a ratio that would start to bother me is if a streamer put like i think past five or six minutes is where i would start getting annoyed because i'm spoiled by ads would you guys agree with that Maybe I'm just overly spoiled by the internet, but I think that's where I would start getting annoyed as a non-sub. If someone were to do five plus minutes per hour, I think I'd start getting tired because it'd be so frequent. Less than that, and I'm like, whatever, do what you gotta do. Anyways. Don't worry, I'm never going to do five plus minutes of ads, though. Either way, let's start the chat. I want to say that there's one up there. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, I... Oh, crap. That is one issue I have with Twitch's new system and why I changed my ad density. Because I used to have two minutes. I changed it to three recently. It's an average. Because I hate pre-rolls so much. And Twitch only allows you to disable pre-rolls if you do three minutes per hour. Because I think pre-rolls is the worst. I don't know about you, but if I join a stream that I'm half interested in and I get a pre-roll for 60 seconds, I literally quit the stream. That might sound awful, but I do it all the time. All the time. If I join a stream and I get a long-ass awful pre-roll that I can't skip, I drop out. So I, I'm. that's why I increased mine, because I was like, I want to stop these pre-rolls, because I can't be alone with the feeling of wanting to leave a stream if I get a bad pre-roll. So I'd rather do slightly more ads and not have to deal with the pre-rolls.
I usually, if I see that I'm close to an enemy that might spot me, I usually let them see me and then pick up the orb. Uh, this was bad. I did not mean that, though. There's no one that's close. Uh, this could be the end of me. Damn it. I did not mean to get spotted there. I was setting up a clean path to get back. Oops. I started with that side because I remember in my casual playthrough, I remember that being the hardest. I'm just going to keep going for that tower. Wait, no, I'm just going to go the front one, then the tower, and then jump down. Anyways, but yeah, I remember the, the that side being the hardest, so I want to do that first. Yeah, shut up. Oh my god. Yeah, water instantly makes you get spotted. Gonna do this. Gonna leave that one as a backup. That actually got my heart beating, too. I usually don't find these to be too scary, but that actually got me up and running.
you guys want to get spotted for fun? Thank you. I come back from work four hours later, and I think I see why you stalled this for so long, Kekwapi Subsembathon. Thank you for the 200 bits. We got the adventure pouch or pooch, whatever you want to pronounce it. I think pooch sounds more cute, so I'm gonna say pooch. That was not worth it, by the way. Massive nopers. I really don't know what these colors mean. What the hell does blue mean? Blue or yellow has to be possible, because otherwise, I can't continue again. Oh, blue means you can check it, but you don't know- you can't know- you can't get the item? Oh. But what the hell is yellow, then? There's nothing in the overworld that it says that I can do right now that isn't blue or yellow. Never mind, there's one thing. Wait, I can't can I can't get into the mining facility yet, can I? You can collect rupees though, Linkus, to try and buy something. Is there any fast way to get money in this game other than Gamba? Because I can't do Gamba, it's not an unlocked area yet. Thank you, Nat. Bamboo minigame. I'll go there, but I'm being dead serious. Anyone that said it, if I actually don't get a lot of money from it, I will actually be mad and, like, time you out because it hurts my hands a lot. So I better actually be able to get money from it. Uh, I'm assuming it's this island. What, Maisie? How's my video game? No. Lanayru's cave Golo's gift has got his harp. Is there an upgrade to the harp? Or have I already gotten that? Oh, wait, that's what I already got. Oops, I'm stupid. Foreign song of part of the hero. I've already gotten both of those. Oh, uh, no, it's just a very difficult one, Maisie. My Starbucks? It's good. What? Uh, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's good. You wanna try some? I just took out the American flag for the meme. Where'd you get it? We bought it during the 4th of July. It's very short. Oops. 
I can definitely get 15 with this sword, but it's going to be annoying with this sword. I'm going to do something, and I will not feel bad about this at all. We're safe stating this, baby. I'm not going to waste my rupees. Never mind, I don't even need the save state. <sighs> I didn't even get any money for him at. Those are like a hundred? Oh. I'll do one more, and then I'm going to go and sell everything I have. Wait. Never mind. That's weird. But he says it's 10 rupees. I have 20. Uh, is it a Skyloft I sell? Is it in the main, like, area where you buy things? It has to be night? In a village house at night. Alright. So basically, let it be night, rich people do illegal auctions. Is this the rich people house, or is it a different house? Across the bridge? Okay. All right, any rich people here? Is that where the rich people live? This house? Oh, no, wait. It looks like this house. This is a big house. It's got to be this one, right? This has got to be it. I feel like this is where rich people would live. Nope. Any rich people here? I don't think Pippet is rich. Oh, maybe this. Oh, you look rich.
Wow, these people really want to make it clear that they're rich. There's rupees on their bed sheets. Okay, I have evil crystals and golden skull. Wait, this is the same as last time. No deal, and then don't go again. Evil Crystal. Yay! Not that skull, that's not the one I have. How is life in America, Linkus? Hope you enjoy it. Whatever, dude, I'm about to give up. Golden skull, thank you. Holy shit, a hundred a pop? Oh, I technically wasted 30 rupees there because I maxed out, but whatever. Wait, I should have slept in their bed. What do you want? Thanks! I'm starting to realize that no one sleeps here. Every bed is free. You can just sleep in any person's bed because no one here wants to sleep. They just do all nighters 24 seven, baby. Hey! What settings? Basically all of them. Sneaky was evil. Oh. Alright, we learned Ballad of the Goddess. Is that the song on the left? That one? I think it is. Thank you. Oh. Hope you're having a good time.
I guess this is appropriate. A gold rupee? It looks like a green rupee. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna try and buy it and see what happens. Sheesh! That's some good stonks! Do you think he has anything new in stock once I bottle of that? Wait a second. A red rupee for a thousand? Holy scam. A red rupee for 600? Oh no, is he gonna get mad at me? God damn it. Speaking of stonks, I really, really hope that the people that bought in on the GameStop stonks at the peak of the hype sold. Because it went up to $80 and right now it's $27. I hope all of my fellow friends that decided to invest all their money in the GameStop stonks sold at the peak. Link us blur link falling off beetles shop be like. I know it's split, but that's included in the 80 dollars I just mentioned. Otherwise you'd be more during the hype. Because he was up to a uh, high three hundreds. Anyways, um, I actually got a new place we can go to. We can go to the cloud area. How updated is Linkus's build? Well, I just downloaded the first... I just searched for Scoured Sword Randomizer. And then the first thing is the GitHub. And I downloaded the official version 1.2 that, that comes up immediately. Released on March 6th because it's the la latest public release. 1.2.0. It's the latest release on the GitHub page. I know, but it's it was the f most recent release. Anyways, uh, it says that I'm supposed to be able to do the biocide fight. Is that incorrect, or do I need something else? Because it's not open right here. I need the soup. 
I need to pick up soup from from pumpkin area. Okay. Anyways, I'm confused with people saying it's not the latest release. It's literally on the GitHub. The most, it's literally under latest release on the GitHub. Not what I meant to press. Oh, people just use the dev build? Oh. Well, it's my first rando, so I want to make sure everything works anyway, so... I'm okay using whatever is the most released the public one. I trust the Skyward Sword randomizer and modding community. I'm sure there's a reason for 1.2 being official. Alright. Are you the one I need to talk to? I'm confused. Are you saying that there's no known bugs since 1.2? It's just that people haven't been clicking on make this public release on the GitHub? Is that it? Is that literally all it is? <laughs> I will say, if there are actually people here that are involved in Scoured Sword Randomizers, since I'm gonna have it linked uh, for my YouTube video, um, I would recommend, if you guys think that there's a much better reason to have a newer version, I would recommend to update it within the next week or so before the YouTube video drops. Because I'm sure there's going to be an influx of people trying it once the video drops. But that's totally down to you guys. No matter what, I mean. I have no stake in it. In the game. I don't know if that's a legit website, ssrando.com, but I'm telling you right now, this is YouTuber talking about. And they're going to Google Skyward Sword Randomizer and click on the first link, which is literally the GitHub. That's what everyone is going to go to. That's how the internet works. <laughs> so keeping up whatever is the first response in Google is definitely going to be important. There's no shot that people are going to go past that. Oh, CGS is a... Uh mod or a dev nice uh where am i supposed to bring this hello what am i doing with this oh the what the island with the flowers that i landed on last time This thing? Yeah. 
Chad hates how I fly in every video game, especially Minecraft. For good reason, I've literally never died in the nether flying. I've died in the nether, but never for flying. There's no good reason for being scared. Well, oh, my God, I hate the bird control so much. Oh, you can tap B? Oh yeah, that's nice. I missed. Oh my god. It's not just the motion controls. I want to blame all of that on the motion controls, but I'm also just not great at this. It's a... It's a lot to do with me. I don't want to copium here and just blame it on things when it's also my fault. That's it. What? Double hit? Is there no invisibility frames in this godforsaken game? You literally don't let someone walk off of a ledge if you have a 50 degree angle towards it. But invisibility frames is too much to ask for? Double hit again. I swear to God, this game is the worst game ever. I hate this game. There we go. 
I remember. Get down here. Excuse can someone clip that? Excuse me. Excuse me. Can someone clip that? Hold on a second. Let's look at this. The ball is coming here. Look, okay. Good game. Yeah, Skyward Sword is a good game. Let's look. The ball is coming. Let's look at this streamer that's holding the remote. He does the attack. Moves the hand down. Does it register it? No! How do people like this video game? It's you. You're bad. No, I'm not. I'm not. Literally, I'm moving the goddamn controller. How do people defend this garbage game? I'm not mad. Hold on. Let me just... I, I just need to get some fresh air. There's a lot of carbon dioxide in my room. I just need to breathe some air in. Hold on. I'm sorry that I got mad there. I usually don't get mad. Hey, you know what? Actually, if you might have, you probably have been able to watch it for months without me screaming that mad. I almost never get mad on stream. And you can say the one time that I get absolutely pissed off on stream, Skyward Sword. Literally, oh my god, this game. Holy shit. Oh my god. Anyways. <clears throat> Sorry. I usually never get mad. But oh my god, that pisses me off. God, this game is so bad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not bad. <clears throat> Whew. All right. All right, chat. Let's um, let's do it again, shall we? Um, let's do it again. Let's uh, let's do it again. Let's uh, let's just enjoy the this great, beautiful video game that is Skyward Sword, with its amazing soundtrack, story, and great gameplay and controls. My God, is it good?
I need, I need, I'll be back in two. I'm gonna go touch some grass. I'll be back in a second. chat i went out to say hi to Maisie, and i just saw the most funny unban request i have ever seen let me read this out loud i usually don't read my unban request out loud but i gotta read this out loud because it's funny <laughs> okay chat so we got a new unban request for someone that we banned <clears throat> let me read this out loud chat you ready for this I don't even understand the context, but I still think it's funny. <clears throat> Not one person came to your stream to talk about something we don't know nothing about. Your band reasons are abusive, and you're probably a band evader yourself because your name is Linkus7. 
Did you get banned on six other accounts? <laughs> Did you get banned on six other Linkus accounts or seven? <laughs> what a good way to ask to get unbanned. Trying to apologize? No. Let's just accuse the streamer of being a banovator themselves. <laughs> And hopefully they'll be like, oh shit, you're right. I vanivated six times a better. <laughs> so better unban them. No, I've never been banned on Twitch. I just started with Link of Seven. The reason I added the seven is because I made is anyone does anyone anyone that grew up in like the late 90s super early 2000s where like you used to play like these like Java Flash games websites? Any of you guys remember that? It was like old Java Flash game websites. Either way. Uh, there was like a runner game on one of those. There was like a racing runner game. It was like it was like it was like the second version of that game. You could just like you could change like your head piece, your main body piece, and your leg piece uh, by unlocking things. And it was like it was like a racing game. I thought it was fun. Either way. And Linkus 7. Well, no, sorry, Linkus was taken. For some godforsaken reason, Linkus was taken. So I made Linkus 7. And then once I did that one time, I stopped trying for Linkus and I just did Linkus 7 on every social media. So I stopped trying. Now I'm having another problem. Now when I'm a streamer, I can't even get Linkus 7 because unless I sign up to something day one, someone of you, I don't know who it is by the way, but some <clears throat> viewer always takes Linkus 7. I try to sign up to Warner Brothers for multiverses, a Warner Brothers account. And they're like, nah, Link is seven taken. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> Who made a Link is seven account for Warner Brothers? Why? Like, come on, why? Why would you do that? So now I have to be so fast to register Link is seven to any platform. So I usually can't even go with Link is seven anymore because it gets taken so fast. <laughs> Uh. Anyways. <clears throat> Let's beat this boss, shall we? Let's do it. to gifted a tier one sub to Sylph for underscore. They have given 17 gift subs in the channel. Thank you, Rector, for the gift tea. I thank you, Noah, for the Prime Gaming sub. I appreciate that. I'm sorry I got mad earlier, by the way, Chad. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm human? What?
Oh, that's why it's so many phases to kill, and my sword is weaker than you should be, Eric. Because I was gonna say, it makes more sense to have a two or a three cycle fight. It's usually not that it's more than three phases in Nintendo games. That's my fault. I did that too early. Oh shit, he's being- he's learning. clap first try baby not even difficult first try <sighs> I swear this better be a good item this better be a good item <laughs> oh this better be a good item What a good boy. Actually a good item. We take those. Let's go. That unlocks a lot of stuff for us. We take those. Yeah, time to go loot his mansion on this baby. Okay, dude. Oh, I can't even open that chest. Where's the chest I can open? There's a chest I can open here. There's a goddess statue and then there's something I can open. Oh. Oops. Yo, holy shit! This place is packed! We take those! There says that there's a chest here, but I don't think I've hit the switch because it doesn't have the thingy on it, so... C 
sand chip is going to be rough, though. I have a horrible sword, and I've gotten almost no health since starting. I really wish I could get some more... A better, better swords, or more importantly, heart containers. Malara Crystals. I wonder what that is. It's an Eastern Skyloft. Malara Crystals. I'm assuming it's really... I got it once I got this blow thing. I don't remember. And I also need the... It's got... No, it can't be related to setting this up with a beam. There's a dusty house. Wait, which house is dusty? Pivot's mom house is dusty. Alright. Wow. That sound effect. Oops, sorry. Yo, thank you uh, for the two month reason, my friend. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoy the emotes and the ad for reviewing experience. Don't get me wrong, I'm not the greatest at cleaning either. Like, my house isn't perfect, but like, bro, this is next level. She's not happy with that? I missed the window? Oh. Yo! Let's go! We take those! Dude, that's three amazing items in a row! I am loving this! Wait, I just got an unlock for Baby Rattle. Did I forget to click that off, or is Baby Rattle a different thing? Is that- Oh, that's when you initially are supposed to pick it up. It's a central. Where usually is it? Where usually does the Baby Rattle hide in central? Does anyone know? On the tower? Like, up there, that tower? Do I need to land up there, or can I blow it from down here? We gotta land up there? Alright. You have to land there after going from the waterfall? Alright. I can do that. Mm. 
Yeah, I know I landed there once and I got some rupees, but... Yeah, I thought I landed on it from the top. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, I had to recalibrate it. It was super off. Wait, what did it say? Sorry. Lake Floria Dragon Lair East Chest has a silver rupee and ancient cittern. Wait, let me write that down because I don't need any of those. Hold on. Lake Floria. I can't even see that area on the map, so I can't even click it off. Can I temporarily change it so I can see... Show all locations. Lake Floria. Dragon Lair East Chest. Lake Floria is just... They, they're actually in the tracker called Lake Floria Chest, Lake Floria First Chest, and Lake, uh, Lake Lair Second Chest. So I don't know which the one the East Chest is. God damn it. I have no clue which one it is. <laughs> No, oh, whatever. Ancient. Whip. Heartbeat. Whatever. How the hell did she get it up here? How does a kid lose a toy here? Yo, we got a bottle! That's actually not too bad. Am I blind or is there nothing in the tracker for bottles? Oh, never mind. There is. I'm blind. Oh, it's unlocked something new. Paro crystals at the southern plaza. Paro. Oh, because now I can do the soup mission. What did he need with the soup again? Mushroom spores. Is there any on- is there any up here? In Skyloft? At the pumpkin area there is? Okay. There's one on the chest islands, somewhere south. Not pumpkin area. Okay, somewhere south. Oh, is that it?
On a scale of 1 to 10, how much is the f how much fun is the first 5 hours been? Um Um 26 months fog 3 Um Um Words can't describe it, honestly, because it's just been so much fun. There's not enough words in this language to explain how I feel. Wow, actually vanilla. Disappointed! Unless that's not it. Is that Paris Crystals? Is that it? I'm assuming that counts, right? I'm assuming that counts as Paris Crystals. Even though it's even though it's located on the southern plaza. Oh, and I was supposed to go back to the brother. Okay. Let's go! We take those! Dude, this is some good stuff. I have something else now, uh, here actually, before I leave. Um... I have... I have Pumpkin Archery, which is a heart piece, and I have Fledge Crystals. Fledge and both are supposedly over at the Academy. Who is Fledge? Are you Fledge? And where's the pumpkin academy? Uh, where's the pumpkin archery? Oh, is the ar the archery is it like in here? Is this it? How many do I need to- how many points do I need to get the item? Six hundred? So basically don't miss because it's combos.
Ooh, this is going to be annoying. Yeah, I know you can charge faster, but I just want to focus on my aim. Why did it go back to 10 even though I hit the pumpkin earlier, by the way? Oh, because I missed the shot? I thought it was just you can't let miss the pumpkins, the sh but missing a shot is fine. I think I can do this. To be further out, I need to be like there. This is awful. Can you reset? You can't even reset, you have to go through all of it. I might make a save state. Only so that I know that if I miss, then, like, I can start over from the beginning. So we don't have to waste a minute every time. Because, like, right now I know it's dead. There's no reason to even play. I'll try a couple of times. If I fail a lot, that I'll probably do. Uh, I'll probably make a save state before. If you want to aim at the same place, you have to do it right in front of him. Otherwise, you just have to kind of react to it because he throws them in different projectiles.
Oh no. So close. This guy kind of sucks.
You start to go so fast. It's awful to do the... You start, like, the initial part there goes so much faster. It's awful to do it at the beginning there. What was that? Why did it take so long to throw that compared to his usual animation? What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm probably gonna aim worse at this, but my right hand, I'm so I'm holding my controller so hard and tense. My right hand is getting tired. I'm gonna do the left one. Why? That is... Okay, I try to center it, and that is not what I intended.
The second he, if he does one that goes to the other side quickly, you see that one that I did, the those ones, they move so fast in the first few frames that like, I I wouldn't be surprised it's only one frame. And like when you do it right when he initiates it, right from the left, um, it's so fast. Also, for everyone that's trying to backseat me and be annoying and saying aim higher, what happens when he does a far one to the right that's not a high throw? It does That guarantees a miss. It's a horrible strat to aim so much higher. If he does a side one that's a low throw, what happens? I have a guaranteed chance of missing. I don't know what happened there. I blanked out. It's my bad. I'm sorry. Please tell me that counts. Yes! Oh my god. Thank god! Oh my god, that is the worst minigame I've ever played. I thought Bamboo was bad enough. Oh my god, this better be good. Does anyone know Fled? I I, I, I forgot. Uh, Fledge Crystals. Does anyone know who Fledge is? Oh. Does anyone know who Fledge is? That was Fledge. But f wait. But that was... No, because there's Fledge Crystals and Pumpkin Archery. You just gotta go to his room at night. Alright. Can we do a Skyward Sword crowd control randomizer? Let me think about that for a second. No. Yo, can someone ban this guy? <clears throat> Thanks. <laughs> Abusive streamer. Have you seen his chat logs? He has three messages ever, which is caps lock. No, Linkus, please stop. Stop. Linkus, please stop. Stop. Please beg you, stop. <laughs> if that's your first three messages, also, I'm pretty sure that's an alt account, anyways. Five, six, seven. A potion that could give me stamina. Wait, do I need to go to the shop and buy a potion for stamina?
Damn it. Mods, you're doing great. Actually, that was me. That was a rare Link is 7 ban. Which, by the way, you should be honored. It's very rare that I ban an account. You know it's serious when Link is does the modding. True. I will say, mods can probably back me up on this. I think in average, I, I do a ban maybe every like two or three months. Like, it's it's extremely rare that I do something. It's got to be this one, right? The green one? It's the green one, right? What? She hasn't perfected that formula? What does that even mean? I gotta be at a temple first? Oh, okay. Well, screw you too then. Have I done or really? Is that the is that the sister I helped? Is this her? Or is that someone else? She's kinda cute. Sorry, Maisie. I wish I had more than one beacon. <laughs> this crystal can't be correctly placed on... The tracker. It is literally on that island. That can't be it. It must be the thing I already did with her. Chat, I have some good news. It's time for roller coaster mini game, baby. Do 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 I'm pretty sure I have to beat the boss first, though, so let's take down the scorpion. I wonder what sound scorpions make. Do you think they go like... 
I don't actually know. Most controls. Yeah, baby! Alright, now I should be able to do it. Time for roller coaster mini game. Vibe check. Which one do I need to do to get the heart piece? Does, do you guys know? Heart stopping? Okay. I'm stupid.
Uh, well, everything was perfect except for the first part. What's the time I need to beat? 110? Are you serious? That's- there's no way because then you have plenty of time. No, not scary. Whatever, I guess we're doing scary too. Uh, is there no way to speed up the straight areas other than just not leaning into the sides? I guarantee you have to get under 30 seconds on this one. Alright, we got this. Here we go, heart stopping track, baby. Oh no. This is so slow. I think this is already ripped. I'm just gonna let myself fall off. Link fell off, L plus ratio, true. Here we go. It was my motion controls, don't worry about it. Better than last time, whatever, I'll take it. Still not good, but whatever, we'll take it. We just keep going and see what time we get.
I literally did an extra lap on my 112.69, and I'm slower. In the, I was only 0.4 slower. I did an entire extra spin, and I am barely faster. That's insane. You really got to maintain your speed well. Winning. Link, is it your heart stopped yet? No, but it is quite the heart stopping minigame for sure. Here we go, pause champ. Yes! Yes! Did you see that clutchness? I am freaking clutch! I don't know which part of the track I lost time to. Oh god. Ah, damn it. Alright, I got it next time. I don't know, is the right turn faster? It's faster to go right instead of left there? Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I don't think there's a Skyward Sword HD randomizer. Even if there was, I don't have my homebrew Wii here. Oh, it's left there you're supposed to go? Oh, crap. So, okay. So, right, right, left. Okay. Are you, there's no way that track is faster. There is no chance that's a faster track. That looks so much longer. Yeah, you can play this on a homebrew Wii. Let me fall off here. I wanted to fall off. I haven't gone right though, so I don't know what the turns are, but here we go. Oh, by the way, chat, I'm gonna do something incredibly scary. I'm gonna do, I think once this September thon is over, I'm gonna do a test stream, I think, on YouTube. Because I'm curious just to see how it would do. I think I'm gonna do a singular test stream on YouTube since partners are not allowed to stream on other platforms. I'm not planning to switch over. I love Twitch too much, but since you're allowed to stream on multiple platforms now, I'm gonna do a singular test stream just to see how it does.
My biggest issue with YouTube streaming is honestly just the, the, the chat. I think the chat is garbage in YouTube. That's why I, would, I don't want to do the switch. Oh, never mind. You keep so much more speed there. If you do that correctly. No! Please tell me it's still good. Please. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Please tell me it's something good. Disappointed! Here's why I want to do a test stream on YouTube, and here's what I'm thinking in the future. I'm basically going to do one test stream on YouTube just to see the numbers. And if they're good, what I'm thinking of doing is making it so that uh, I might do one YouTube stream a week or something like that. So I still will stream on Twitch, but like maybe once a week or maybe once every other week, I would do a stream on YouTube. Because I've also heard from Ludwig that by him streaming on YouTube and then in the end of his stream, he releases a YouTube video and advertises that YouTube video. Um, in the end of his stream, it helps the algorithm boost a lot. So I'm thinking that could be a clever idea to time it so that anytime I have a new YouTube upload, I stream on YouTube that day. And then I announce the new YouTube video as I head offline. I think that if it works, that could be sick. money hungry i can guarantee you i will make more money streaming on twitch than i would on youtube <laughs> i think i just want to see if i can grow my youtube channel because i don't want like i'm just scared of continuing to i the reason i push more for youtube is because i'm scared about twitch's future I have been doing this since 2013, and Twitch has been doing so many bad decisions in the past few years, in my opinion, that it scares me that if I lose Twitch, I lose my job. Because you might be like, Link, because you have a YouTube channel, though. I am not even close to big enough on YouTube to be able to have it sustainable at all. Um, so that's why I want to grow my YouTube a bit, so that I have another source that isn't just Twitch. That is correct. You are not allowed to stream to both platforms at the same time. Before, as a partner, you weren't allowed to stream to the other platform at all. Now you can stream to the other platform. You just can't do it simultaneously. Also, uh, does anyone know how Sandship works on the randomizer? Does anyone know? Like, how does the Sandship work on the randomizer? Oh no, I mean, when, uh, I wouldn't, I would not look at the numbers on one YouTube stream. I would, um, and then be like, oh, that's definitely it. Because yeah, your first stream is always gonna have more numbers. Anyways, I was just saying that I think I'm gonna do a test to see how it does. You need a C chart? Uh, I only, I already have the T, the C chart. I should. Wait. I a hundred percent got it. You need to complete the Pirate's Cove. Oh, do you actually? I don't know if bombs are required. I don't know. Are they required? Check what CJ said. 
the visual is bugged. Oh, but this is it. Yeah, no. Someone that I I think someone that like would make sense to do stream more on YouTube than Twitch would be like CJ, my roommate, because CJ has a bigger YouTube channel than he does Twitch channel. So for those people, I think it's great to be able to switch and do like both at the same time. Uh, I don't know for me though. I I just think that for me, streaming has always been about the Twitch chat. That's always been why I stream. And I know many people say Kappa, money, but literally I streamed from 2013 to 2017 not being partner, and affiliate wasn't even a thing back then. You literally couldn't make money. I've, I've just always been streaming on Twitch because I like the Chad. So I would just get... I just think that it'd be very boring and sad to nod. Have the chat. Oh, he just bonked on it. Wait. Shit. There we go. <clears throat> I have never seen a YouTube streamer with a, in my opinion, good chat. I think, no offense, YouTube audience is just not the same as the Twitch audience. Also, YouTube's chat system in general is not great. I also think that it comes down to the culture, and I know I will say this as someone that has a lot of experience in this business. There is, you know how a lot of people mention that Twitch chatters can feel very attached to the streamer, like there is kind of a parasocial relationship with certain streamers, right? Well, I agree to a certain extent to that, and it depends on how the streamer does it, obviously, but here's something I want to say, though. When it comes to YouTube, it's an entirely different thing because with YouTube, the person you watch is like up on a pedestal because you just basically are striving to get their attention because they're up on this beautiful pedestal that you can never interact with ever. So when they stream, the chat's involvement of the YouTube viewers is to get the streamer's attention, which is a very different thing because don't get me wrong, do people want attention on YouTube as well, or Twitch as well? Obviously, but it's very different. It's a very different dynamic because it's just random spam, random highs, random... Basically, imagine a YouTube comment section, but live. It's awful. There is a few good people, and then 80% is straight garbage. If I wanted to, like, when I read my comment section, which, by the way, actually, I do read my comment section for the first about a week once I upload a video, but I was going to say... In terms of, like, actual good comments that aren't just random stuff, I can probably delete 80 of them. For people that don't know, Ludwig, who's someone that switched over to, uh, to YouTube, to try and somewhat get a better experience, he commissioned people to make plugins to make the YouTube chat more like Twitch chat. I'm not kidding. To properly watch a stream, you download a plugin, an add-on, to make the YouTube chat more of a U Twitch chat.
I also think without looking at the statistics, I want to say without looking at the numbers that percentage wise, I want to claim that the people that sit and watch and chat in the YouTube chats must be a slightly younger audience than, you, uh, than Twitch. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but that's how it feels like, at least to how people behave in the chat. It really feels like the people are older. Can you do this without a break slide? I'm just curious to see if it's intended or not. Okay. I'm gonna go to TwitchCon, but I'm gonna go to TwitchCon, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm not, I'm not super excited about TwitchCon this year. I don't know. I'm just really not that excited about the event this year. I'm kind of meh about it, but I hope that I will be genuinely, because last TwitchCon I went to was really fun and I'm really excited to be viewers. It's just that, like, I'm scared because of the fact that there hasn't been as many ticket sales, that there's not going to be a lot of fun things to do around there. So it's basically just going to be an event purely to meet people and nothing else. What? Okay. You should go to another major Smash event. Hey, I'm now, I'm technically speaking, according to the definition, I'm a competitive multiverses player. Yep, professional competitive multiverses player. Exactly. Linkus, I just finished the Fortnite Battle Pass in time, but I think someone hacked my account because I was on page... Because I was not on page 9 for some reason. What do you mean, honey? Weird. Down, 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 upright, down. Wait, is that what I saw?
Oh, wait a second. Oh! Down, up, down, right. Bro. Give me a second. I just got to recalibrate my controller real quick. Champ. I feel like that's a guaranteed location. Oh, it's not? Oh, okay. Why is it that I'm not able to beat this dungeon? It says I'm not able to beat this dungeon yet. What item am I missing to beat the dungeon? I don't get it. Oh, you need the whip to beat this? Oh, if you get lucky with the boss key location, you can smite still beat it? Okay, gotcha. That makes sense. Spooky scary skeleton, a shivers down your spine. Spooky scary skeleton. Brum, bum, 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 bum. Spooky scary, spooky scary, spooky scary, spooky scary, 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 scary. Oh my god, isn't this the mini boss? Sheesh. I should have saved out there. I don't have a good shield. I'm just going to back back off every time. I didn't know that Linkus did Zelda speedruns until very recently. I hope that's a meme, otherwise that can make me a little bit sad almost. 
<laughs> Maybe he started watching during Minecraft. Three week follower? Actually, that makes sense. Yeah, I haven't been speedrunning much in the past three weeks. Here we go. Let's sky let's go for spooky scary skeleton part two. This fight was the reason back in time was discovered. Really? This specific fight? I thought it was a random sand trick. What? He double attacks? Bullshit. I'm just gonna die. Oh, this fight is gonna be rough without the shield. I thought it was a sand trap. I thought that was the footage used in the video by Jim. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I'm obviously wrong. Giga chat. I. Ah. Ah, I hit my face. I. I smacked myself in the face with my Wiimote. Ah. Dude, that was that was the rage inside of me that took him down. 
I think this is the bow chest, right? There's gotta be the bow chest. Yay. I have a feeling, I feel like there's got to be many Scoured Sword speedrunners that has actually hit themselves with playing this game. There's no way you can play this game for hours on end and never accidentally hit yourself. Especially like hitting your desk or something. We actually have most expensive uh, purchases in Beetle disabled. Oh yeah, if you sat on the couch, I don't think so. But when you're sitting and you have to hold back, because off, if I do it slightly up, I, I hit the table. It happens all the time. As a kid, when I played it, like on the couch in front of the TV, I never, I never did. Also, I hope that all of the Scoured Sword people watching the stream right now aren't panicking and freaking out too much because I am I know that my insane gameplay can be very intimidating. So just try and stay calm. I know that it's very fast and very good. Just try and stay calm. I'm not going to take all of your records yet. I don't have the whip, so I can't go down in that room, I don't think. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to be the first person to save those last, what is it, six seconds or whatever. Oh, this is Dolphin. The game would not look this sharp on the Wii. I will say, though, uh, without just unnecessarily hating on Starred Sword, the game looks pretty good for being on the Wii, even without upscaling it. It's a good-looking game. I agree. Uh, the, uh, this art style holds up very well. Like, this art style holds up very well, similarly to Wind Waker. TP, I think. Don't get me wrong. I love TP, and TP Link is super hot. But TP definitely has, like, the the worst graphics in terms of, like, how well it ages. Oh my god, so bad.
Hey, AI was very good for 2012, okay? This was revolutionary AI. Okay, I have a map chest left and a heart piece chest left and a boss key chest left. Is there anything back here I can get? Maybe the heart piece chest is back there. Alright, Harpy's chest. Yo, we got the boss key! That's actually nice! Okay, we can beat the dungeon. We will miss a lot of chests, but we can beat the dungeon. Hey, any smart people in the chat that knows where the map chest is? Because it's the only chest I'm missing that I can get now. Don't say that, girl. Cheese. Is it there? Is it this one? Oh, I remember and I shoot it upwards and hit it. I remember now. I remember now. Sag. Is it supposed to be... I think it's it's supposed to be the old ship to fight the boss, right? Oh, is this the original? Oh, this is the lowest percent video. On one attempt, they happen to both lose their shield and die immediately afterwards. After they selected continue on the game over screen, they remembered that to get their shield back, they had to reset. I should know that. I should remember that. It's been a while, though. Hope you guys are excited for lowest percent to come back.
All right, let's go fight the boss. Oh, it needs to be in the past? Oh, I'm sorry. I mixed them up. Oh, I'm sorry. This will be the first dungeon out of three that I'm beating that are required. Thank you, white anime god, for the sub. I appreciate it. A fellow anime fan, huh? I'm the biggest weeb there is out there for sure. Ah, 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 ah. Here we go. Hi, Link to Seven. Hello, confused the duck. Monsters Inc. and coming. That's so smart. I've never thought of that. That's so true, though. I want a bench. 
No, I wanted a bench. Where's my little bench? You can do quick charges? Wait, you can quick charge? A Skyward Strike? How? Wait, what? Oh, that's what you mean. I'm sorry. She's so hot. What? Give me a second. Damn it, I might have to recalibrate again now. So bad. What is my sword doing? Why is it down there? Come on, bro. Huh? This is like Pirates of the Caribbean. Captain Jack Sparrow wins! She looks pissed, Chad.
Bro, what? Yes! Giga Chad! Wait, vanilla? Is the heart container vanilla? You know what? I don't even mind. I'm okay with the heart container. I'm low in HP. Oh! Wait, never mind! Poggers! We take those! That's a sick item! Fire shield earring? Okay, I don't know if I know, need those, but we take those. Let's go. Oh, oh get a good stretch in. But I only need to beat three dungeons. The flame so Nehru has trans... I didn't read the whole text. Sorry, Chad. It was too fast. Uh, how many more sword upgrades do I need to get now? Two more? Oh, my God. Two more? Wait, actually, I think I can click and check. There's Master Sword, and then there's T... So I, okay, I get, so if it's the last one I need, then never mind. Or is it, do I just need the normal Master Sword? Does it have to be true Master Sword or just Master Sword? Just the normal Master Sword? Okay. Um, let me look at my, let me look at my settings. Require dungeon count three. Sword requirement, master sword. Does that mean it's just, if it's just it's master sword in the notes, does that mean it's master sword, master sword? I am so bad at the final boss fight. I had so many potions in my casual playthrough and so many arts and I still couldn't do it. This is going to be awful to beat. I would agree with that. Spanth is better than me at Minecraft. Just like I'm better at timing you out than you are at me. Bye-bye. Uh, alright. So, um... Have I been to foreign yet? I have not, no. Um... Let's see here.
Uh, wait, what was the three dungeons I need? Wait, I should go for him because there's a dungeon there I need to do. Uh, the deep woods, the sky view temple. I think I can do sky view temple, can't I? Don't I have every item that you would normally have to do sky view? Nice, okay, let's go and do sky view then. Oh yeah, and then the big dragon one is the next one I need to do. Yeah, yeah, the, the... I need to be young again. Give me some pure water. Ah, cauldron bullshit side quest. God, I hope I don't need to do that in the rando. You need to have the beetle to do that dungeon? Oh shit. Damn it. There's only one beta lock check. Oh, okay. I think I know which one it is actually in the main room. Oh. Um, I'm thinking. If you had to actually make a valid prediction to all the people in this chat right now that know Skyward Sword randomizers, how long would you say you think it's going to take me? Considering the fact it took me this long, seven hours to get this far in. Also, thank you, Subatomic Beaver, for the Prime Women sub, my friend. I appreciate it. Basically, what I'm thinking is this: because it's it's so hard to keep, if from uh, because it's gonna be impossible soon to keep up if you're European with it, and also with with it, I'm thinking this: if you guys don't think I can beat this in an hour to two hours max, then I think uh, I should continue it tomorrow and do something else for the rest of the night. If you think that it's an hour ish left of it, then I should just do it today. But I'm thinking because of how I am and how bad I am at this game, it's going to be way more than an hour or two. So I'm thinking maybe it's better to just like start tomorrow's stream up by with Sky Resort again to finish it up. Oh yeah, that is true. I probably will spend more than an hour just the final boss. That's a good take. Yeah, I think we should just do the. I think we should then. Uh, I'm also gonna make. I'm gonna make a safety save state here as well. In case my save doesn't go through. Anyways, I think then it's better if I uh, finish it up tomorrow. I still have another about four hours of streaming left to do today. But um, but yeah, I think it's better if I do this tomorrow. It'll be easier for more people to watch, and uh, it'll be a nice two-parter. I think it's better. Got a solid seven hours in. I will say... This is less miserable than it was when I started. When I started, I was having such a boring, awful time. Once I got some items and I got a sword and it slightly started opening up more. Uh, this hasn't been bad. Okay, that one fight pissed me off, but <laughs> except for the one stupid fight in the cloud area, um, it got a lot better once I got a few items so it opened up. But when I was like, I cannot figure out a single location of what I can do there, and it was like that one random thing that had the item that led to two more locations, that had the one item that led to three locations, that had the one item. When we were stuck there for like an hour and a half, oh, it was rough. Oh, I wanted to quit. I'm curious, uh, people that do these randomizers a lot, do you guys have, do you guys do like a ton of open settings and starting with the sword so there's like a ton of options for you? Or does a lot of Skyward Sword randomizers lead to like, you only have five locations left, get those and then it opens up another five or so? Because like, I'm used to like, you know, Wind Waker, where like if you have all the settings on, you know, like, like I did with Skyward Sword more similarly, like, you know, just like location wise. Um... 
you know, I have a solid 50 locations available immediately when I start the game, you know? At least. I don't even know. Wait, let me check. Actually, I'm curious. Yeah, when you start a Wind Waker randomizer with settings on, you have 58 locations available to you the first second you start the game. Without any single item, you have 50, 58 locations. And if you want to discount the the salvaging, the salvaging things, like if you because most people don't play with salvaging, but even if you if you like discount those, it's like everything else just not the salvage ones because those are awful. No offense to people that like them, but they are awful. Um, then, like, out of... Then it's, like, 58 locations immediately available out of 253. There's actually even more of them, actually. I forgot, because you also have Dragon Roost that you would have. Um, you would actually have uh, 61 locations. Our current tournament had six different modes that we could play on, and one of them started without a sword, and one of them we started with all three tablets and an open on. Gotcha, okay. Anyways, overall, I can't believe I'm about to say this. Scoured Sword. Oh, let's not lie. Not too bad. Not too bad.